Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss volumes. Let's go ahead and do several examples. Consider the region bounded by y equals the square root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 4. Find the volume of the solid generated by rotating the region about the given line. Part A says about the x-axis. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So the first step in these problems is to draw your region. So here's the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. This is x, and this is y. And the square root of x looks something like this, but we're stopping at x equals 4. So maybe this is 4, and I'm going to draw a line here. x equals 4 is a vertical line, and y equals 0 is on the x-axis. So this is the region here. If you plug in 4 into the square root of x, you're going to get the square root of 4, which is 2. So the y-coordinate here at the tip of the region is going to be 2. All right, we have to find the volume of the solid generated by rotating this region about the x-axis. So I'm going to use a little arrow here to indicate that we're rotating about the x-axis. Now what I like to do is I like to draw the rectangle. So when you're finding volumes using the disk method, which is what we're using, your rectangles always should be perpendicular to the axis. This is called the axis of revolution, the x-axis. So draw the rectangle like this. So this is our rectangle. And now we have to label things. So this distance here, the distance from the top of the rectangle to the axis of revolution is our radius. I'm going to call it big R of x. Some books call it the outer radius. And you can see that no matter where we draw the rectangle, this is going to be equal to the square root of x. So the volume in this case, it's pi times the integral. The formula is a to b of the outer radius squared. Okay, this is the formula for volume using the disk method. So this is equal to pi. And we're going from 0 to 4. a is 0 and b is 4. And we have r of x squared, so the square root of x squared dx. This is equal to pi times the integral from 0 to 4. And this is x dx. The integration in this example is really easy. There's a 1 here on the exponent, so we use the power rule. So we add 1 and divide, so we get pi times x squared over 2, and we're going from 0 to 4. So the volume is equal to, so you plug in the 4 first, so you get pi times 4 squared over 2, minus, and then when you plug in 0, the whole thing is 0. End up with pi times 16 over 2, which is 8, so you just end up with 8 pi in this case. And that would be the volume that you get when you take this region and you rotate it about the x-axis. Again, I want to emphasize big R is the distance from the top of the rectangle, the far end, all the way to the axis of revolution. And it's always perpendicular to your axis of revolution. Let's do a much harder example. Part B, this time the line is y equals 4. And it says just set up, so that means that we're not actually going to integrate. We're just going to draw the picture and set everything up. So here's the y-axis, and here is the x-axis, so x and y. And let's go ahead and resketch our region. So we have the square root of x, and it stops at x equals 4, so here's 4. At this point, y is 2, and so this is our region here. And we also have 4 because we're told that that's where we're spinning it. So that's going to be our axis of revolution in this case. So we're spinning it about the line y equals 4. Now we have to draw the rectangle. As before, whenever you draw your rectangles, they should be perpendicular to your axis of revolution. So here's our rectangle. And now let's label everything in the picture. Big R of x is the full distance from the far end of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. So that's big R of x, that's distance there that I've drawn in white. Little r of x is the distance from the closer end of the rectangle 
to the axis of revolution. And I've drawn little r of x, I'll write it over here, in red so you can see it in red. So now let's go ahead and find each of these. So big R of x is this full distance. No matter where you put the rectangle, it's always going to be equal to four. Boom, super important, okay? So it's always the full distance, the distance from the far end to the axis. Little r is this tiny distance, it's called the inner radius. So to get this red distance, basically you take the big distance, four, and you subtract it from, let me use a different color, from this distance here in orange. If you take the white distance, which is four, and subtract it from the orange distance, you get the red distance. So it would be, in this case, four, and this distance in orange is the square root of x. We saw that before in the previous example. So now that we have little r and big R, we can write down the formula for the volume. So the volume is equal to pi. And again, we're going from zero to four. That's because we're integrating with respect to x, by the way. So we use x values. And it's big R of x squared. So I'll go ahead and write the big R of x squared for now. So you see the formula. Minus little r of x squared. Dx. Let's just plug everything in and we should be good. So the volume is equal to pi. And we're going from zero to four. And so big R of x is four. So four squared is 16 minus, and then little r of x is four minus the square root of x, and that's being squared dx. This would be the volume of the solid that you get when you rotate the region about the line y equals four. Just a quick recap, big R is always that full distance, okay, from the far end of the rectangle to the axis of revolution. Even in the previous example, it was the same thing, right? It was that full distance from the far end of the rectangle to the axis of revolution, always, no matter what. And little r is going to be that shorter distance. You always draw the picture and you always draw your rectangle and you write down big R and little r. In theory, you should be able to do any problem. These problems take a lot of practice and I hope this video has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Good luck.